Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another top 25 video. I got a lot of comments on my last video that said do star powers, do star powers, do star powers. So here we are, the 25 most important star powers to buy. Let's get it started. So coming in at number 25, we have Gus's spirit animal. So basically all this does is when you use your shield and you hit your teammate or put it on yourself, you get a 25% damage increase for five whole seconds. Now this is actually kind of insane because 25% more damage is a ton of damage regardless of what brawler you're putting it on. I mean, obviously you don't get extra HP from the shield, but having a 4,000, 5,000 HP shield plus 25% damage on any brawler in the game instantly makes them overpowered. So if you have the star power, it's a huge W. If not, definitely get it. Next up, we have Brock's more rockets. And I mean, this one is pretty self-explanatory. It's just more rockets for Brock. When he's super, Brock rains down 44% more rockets, which is basically almost half as many rockets. And you are more likely to hit them. You're more likely, well, not more likely, you are going to do more damage to a heist safe or a siege Ike or anything that is a stationary object. This is especially good in Heist, where Brock is deadly as a damage dealer. Coming in at number 23, we have Piper Snappy Sniping, and this is just when Piper hits a shot, she gets 0.4 of the ammo back instantly. Now, this is really useful because Piper's obviously really good against other snipers or other long-range brawlers outside of Nani. But when you're facing tanks or mid-range brawlers or anything like that, this is extremely helpful because for every three shots you hit, you get 1.2 of your ammo, and over time, you're just shooting so many shots. This just helps Piper so much more. I've actually seen a second best video named Piper is a shotgun brawler. And that's because with the hypercharge, you have a knockback. Plus with snappy sniping, you just do so much damage from up close. So definitely use snappy sniping if you like playing range. Coming in at number 22, we have Barley's medical use. Now you could argue that both star powers are really good for Barley. But with this one, you gain 480 HP every single time you shoot now this is really good because barley is a control brawler and for control you obviously need to be shooting shots and then obviously to heal in brawl stars you need to stop shooting so this kind of just is the perfect middle ground for control where you can keep shooting you can keep your hp and just ridiculous ridiculous healing it's absolutely unreal i would 100 percent get medical use if you like playing throwers because this is just so good for control Coming in at number 20, and honestly, this could be a lot higher on the list, but I have Serve Ice Cold. Now, this is Surge's star power where you keep your first upgrade every time you die. And honestly, this could be top five on the list. I don't know why it's this early, but this is where I put it. And it's just so important to play this if you're playing Surge because you need to stay off of level one. Level one is so bad. You're the worst brawler in the game. I think outside of level one Clancy now. And to just not reset to that is so important. So make sure you get that star power. Coming in at number 19, we have Sandy Rude Sands. And I know a lot of you guys kind of caught me slipping up last video. He does 216 damage when you put the Sandy Super on your enemy team's forehead. By forehead, I just mean on them. This is really useful because if you're playing a bushy map like Double Swoosh or Snake Prairie, please don't play Sandy in Snake Prairie, but Snake Prairie or anything with bushes, you can see where your opponents are just by throwing the Sandy Super on them. This is really useful because you have a ton of vision for like nine seconds, I believe it is, and it's just so good. Nobody can stand in your Sandy Super without being spotted or taking damage. And if you're a Sandy main, you know how important this is. Next up, we have Stu's Gasso Heal. Now again, this star power is insane and can honestly be a lot higher on the list, but every single time Stu dashes, he gains 640 of his health. Now that's actually really important because every life you're dashing at least three, four, or five times, and this can be 2,000, 3,000, or even 4,000 healing every life that you have with Stu. That's more than enough to change basically every single brawler interaction, and it's just a must have if you're playing Stu. Coming up after Stu, we have Bows Snare a Bear, and trust me guys, a lot of you know how bad I am at dodging bow mines, so I'm an absolute expert of what you need to have on bow, and Snare a Bear is so important. Now all this does is when somebody trips on your mines and is not able to escape, they are trapped and stunned for two whole seconds. Now to give you guys a full understanding on how long two seconds is, Crow Slow is also two seconds, but you're slowed, you're not stunned. So you can at least move or do something versus when you hit a bow mine with snare bear, you're just cooked. You're finished. 
if you don't have this star power on, then if somebody hits your bow mine, like, oh well, they take 2,000 damage, they just walk away. It's a big difference to have this star power or to not have it. Next up, we have Carl's Protective Pirouette. And you guys might be a little bit confused as to how a 35% shield on Carl is better than a two second stun. But the reason is Carl is so dependent on his super. Like his super and his main attack is his entire kit. He has nothing else. Even his gadget is just dependent on his main attack. So when you super and you go in on a team or who a single person, whoever you're going in on, you need to make sure that you have more HP and you deal more damage than that other brawler can do. And having a 35% shield changes every interaction in the game. If you want to play Carl, Flying Hook, and Protective Pirouette are a must-have. Next up, we have Byron's Malaise, or as I like to call it, Narc Byron. And basically what Narc Byron does is every time you hit somebody with your super, which keep in mind, it only takes three full shots to actually charge your super with Byron, their healing is reduced by 75% for nine seconds like i don't know who at supercell thought this was a good idea and i don't think anyone who works at supercell has enough trophies to understand what a good byron can do with the star power but you basically just can't heal for nine seconds whoever gets hit by this they're screwed because nine seconds is a long time in a brawl stars game that's more than enough for your opponent to come close to you and do damage to you or for byron to just get another super and throw it on your head this is a very very good star power and i would 100 percent recommend buying it next up we got my boy frank and we have power grab now power grab is obviously a really good star power because every time you get a kill with frank you get a 50 percent damage increase for 12 whole seconds now again just like i said nine seconds is a long time in a brawl stars game 12 seconds feels like an eternity Frank basically just one shots or at the very most two shots everything while you have this ability activated. And especially when you're low HP and you have the damage gear also on, you're just doing absurd amounts of damage and nobody can come even close to you. Even if they kill you, you're taking away like 80% of their total HP at the very least. Plus you already killed somebody so you're just making it really easy on your team. Next up we got Clancy the Crab and his star power that we think is very important to use is recon and this is very simple clancy starts the game with three tokens i just think it's so important to not be hard stuck level one on surge or clancy and this star power helps a lot with that next up we have otis ink refills and what this does is otis shoots 33 percent more ink drops so basically every single time otis shoots you have 33 percent more ammo this is really self-explanatory. This is really good because you're just getting 33% more damage, kind of. 33% more chance to hit somebody and stop their healing. 33% more chance to full clip somebody and do 3,000 damage. Like, it's just crazy that the star power exists and it's not just a part of Otis, but you need to run this if you're playing Otis. Next up, we got Draco again, and it's going to be shredding. So what this does is Dragon Solo now heals for 2,750 when activated. So basically, every time you go into Dragon Mode, you get 2,750 HP, which is honestly a lot of HP, and it can allow you to really easily chain Draco Supers. So it's very important that you run this. Everything else on Draco outside of the gadget that we talked about two days ago isn't really that important. Now, next up, we got Poco. And just like the gadget video, this one is going to be a kind of double-sided thing. Like, you can use the Capo and be a really good healing Poco. And what this does is it heals your allies for 962 per shot, which is just absolutely insane. That's way too much healing. I don't know why that exists. But you can also use Screeching Solo, which gives your super 1520 damage to do to the opponent team while you're also healing your own team honestly the game just has so many high hp brawlers so many strong hyper charges and just so many things going on in the game that poco isn't really meta at the very highest scene because there's just no stuns and no damage but at low level screeching solo or decapo is like the most broken thing in the game and if you can honestly upgrade just one thing to guarantee yourself free trophies, I would definitely upgrade Screeching Solo. So now we are in the top 10 and we're going to start off in a banger of a way with Dinah's Demolition. And what this does is it adds 1,600 damage to Mike's super. And this is very important because this just allows you to kind of one shot everything in the game for the most part. Especially if you get a stun hit on somebody and then use a super. I mean, it's just way too much damage. You can use it towards the safe, you can use it to counter tanks even, especially versus mid-range brawlers like Nita or Sandy. 
Dyna is just so good, especially because of Demolition. Now, next up, we got 8-Bit coming in at number 9, and it's the exact same thing as Poco. There's two very broken star powers, and you need to have at least one of them. You have Boosted Booster, which increases your range of super by 50 percent and then also boost the damage by an additional 15. now this is really good if you're playing on a very open map or if you're playing heist or something where you need to just deal a ton of damage then the other one is plugged in and this just gives you speed while you're running around in your 8-bit turret and that's honestly really broken because a fast 8-bit doesn't have any counters whatsoever besides throwers Next up, again, same thing. We have two really important star powers. We have Robo Retreat, aka Speedy Rico. And this is when Rico falls below 40% health. He runs 34% faster. And if you are very skilled with Rico and you have, you know, just some type of juking ability, then this is just unreal. Nobody can kill you unless you make a mistake. But then you also have Super Bouncy. And every single time Rico's ball hits a wall, you gain an additional 256 damage now it doesn't sound too good but if you hit a full clip on rico that's like an extra 2,000 damage that you're doing to your opponent especially with rico where everything you should more or less be bouncing off a wall this is a very important star power to have and again same thing coming in at number seven we have both of leon's star powers we have invisible heal which is every single time you go invisible every second you gain 1360 hp which is a ton of hp People use this in a really weird way where you can pop invis right in front of somebody. They know where you are, but you're just healing. So you can kind of like run away, come back within the six or seven seconds that you're invisible with full HP and then spray them down. The other one though, smoke trails. A lot of people like to use this in bounty and knockout. And this just allows you to kind of run across the other side of the map. Every Leon super, you get a 30% speed boost for the entire super. And I mean, that's just really good in and of itself. So it kind of depends the play style you like to play with Leon. Do you want to use a super way in the back of the map, run to the other side and kill one or two and try and get out? Or do you want to play an aggressive Leon where you kind of super all over the place and just try and make the most of what you can? Next up, we have Kenji's Nigiri Nemesis. And this is basically where if you just avoid damage for five seconds, you get a 60% damage reduction. And this is already nerfed. It was at 90% before, but it's still so strong. Like if you're facing, for example, a Piper and the Piper does 3,400 damage. I don't know the math on the very top of my head, but she's not going to hit you for over 2,000. You can just tank a shot. You can tank a Shelly super. Like you could do a lot of tanking with the shield. And it just is so important to Kenji because with Kenji, you need to get as close as possible. And the shield is just, I mean, it's a shield that lets you get close. So now we're in the top five and these star powers are like must haves for your brawlers but coming in at number five we have both of gale star powers but specifically blustery blow now i call this stun gale and basically what this is is you just stun your opponent against the wall and they're not able to do any damage or move or heal or do anything this is really good because you want to play gale on maps with walls and then the stun can be used to get you a lot of kills if you have the hypercharge as well it's like the most broken thing in the world because you can cycle two hypercharges and that's just going to lead to a team wipe every time there's also freezing snow or what we like to call slow gale and this just slows your opponents every single time you hit them for 0.5 seconds i mean it's pretty good especially on an open map so if it's an open map, I would play Slow Gale. If there's a lot of walls, I would play Stun Gale. But Blustery Blow, aka Stun Gale, is, I think, way better. Coming in at number four, we have Gene Magic Puffs. And honestly, I've been grinding ranked a lot. And it annoys me so much how many people run Spirit Slap. So Spirit Slap is when you hit someone with your pull, you do 2,000 damage. But if you're pulling somebody, they're going to die anyways. Especially if they have the gems and they're under 2k HP, you can't even pull them because they're just going to die and drop the gems. But Magic Puffs heals everyone around you for 576 per second. Like, are we really trading that off for 2,000 damage maybe once or twice a game? Like, it's ridiculous. I can't believe these randoms that I get in my lobby. But anyways, you need to be running Magic Puffs. It is the most insane star power in competitive Everyone in esports runs Gene specifically for the healing and basically because you don't do enough damage to kill anyone around a Gene because Gene can just tank and he can heal and it's just so broken. Please use healing Gene. So now we're in the top three and these are must haves. We have Moe's skipping stones and basically what this is is Moe's basic attack bounces one more time and you just get an extra like an extra shot from your shot if that makes any sense whatsoever to your brain. 
Like you're able to do double the damage. You're able to reach a further distance, which gives Mo slightly more range. This is just a must have. You need to have this if you're playing Mo. If you don't have this star power when playing Mo, he is like one of the worst brawlers in the game. Coming in at number two, we have a personal favorite of mine. We have Buster's Kevlar Best. This is insane, by the way. Like this is like this is this high for a reason. While Montage, which is your super, is active, you take 10% less damage and you are immune to knockbacks, slows, and stuns. So for those of you who don't really understand what that does, if somebody throws a Tara Super at you and you have your shield up, you can just walk through the Tara Super like nothing is happening. Buster is one of the most well-rounded brawlers in the game right now. He honestly can be the most well-rounded brawler in the game right now. And it's because of the gadget I mentioned last video and this star power that we're mentioning here. You need to run this if you're playing Buster. And coming in at number one, and this is just such a must have to the point where people on my YouTube live streams pay me to play this brawler without the star power. Like it's so useless. It's so bad. But we have Sam's hardy recovery so every single time you throw your glove and then you pick it back up sam instantly recovers 20 percent of his missing health now if you're a sam main and you're using your gloves and healing seven eight nine ten eleven times per life you're you you're healing like 10 000 15 000 20 000 health like it's insane what you could do with the star power and not having this star power is just such a nerf to sam like if sam didn't have this sam would be bonnie level that's how bad he would be. This is a must have. If you're a Sam player, you know it. I shouldn't have to explain this too much. It's just healing, but that is going to be our number one. And that is going to be our list. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's list. I have a crazy video coming out for you guys in a few days. I can't wait for it. But until then, I will not be seeing y'all. So like the video, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys then.